Tonight, some startling allegations involving the Church of Scientology. We've spent months on this investigation, and every night this week, we're going to bring you the information that we've been looking into. But before we begin tonight, we just want to give you a brief overview of the church. The Church of Scientology was founded by a science fiction writer named L. Ron Hubbard in 1954. Its stated goals to help people, quote, live in a civilization without insanity, without criminals, and without war, where the able can prosper and honest beings can have rights. Members pay to take courses designed to help them work through issues from their past and reach a higher state of consciousness. L. Ron Hubbard died in 1986, and now this man, David Miscavige, is the leader. He oversees a religious order responsible for church management called the Sea Organization. Members sometimes wear naval-style uniforms and dedicate their lives to the church. Scientology has opened some 170 churches across the globe and claim 10 million members worldwide. Church spokesman Tommy Davis. David Miscavige is responsible for the current renaissance that the church is experiencing. And the fact is the church has doubled in size in the last five years and has flourished under his leadership. The American Religious Identification Survey, however, cites much lower numbers. According to its survey, the number of self-described practicing Scientologists in the U.S. actually dropped from just 55,000 to 25,000 from 2001 to 2008. Last year, a French court found four church leaders and the church itself guilty of fraud for pressuring its members to pay large sums of money for questionable financial gain. The court imposed fines on the church of more than $1 million, and French church officials were handed suspended prison sentences. In the U.S., after years of battling the IRS, the church was granted tax-exempt status in 1993. The church operates many anti-drug programs, and recently church volunteers flew to Haiti to help with relief efforts after the devastating earthquake. The church is a vocal critic of psychiatry. They've even opened an anti-psychiatry museum in Los Angeles. For years, the church has reached out to well-known performers and caters to their needs with a celebrity center in Hollywood. Kirstie Alley and John Travolta are longtime Scientologists, as is Tom Cruise. Being a Scientologist, when you drive past an accident, it's not like anyone else. As you drive past, you know you have to do something about it because you know you're the only one that can really help. Cruise is so close to church leader David Miscavige, he asked him to be his best man at his wedding. Here's Cruz praising Miscavige at a Scientology event in 2007. So I say to you, Sir COB, we are lucky to have you, and thank you very much. But the man who used to be Tom Cruz's counselor or auditor in Scientology parlance says not everything is as it seems with David Miscavige. Marty Rathbun, who used to work directly under Miscavige, says there's been a culture of violence within the leadership of the church, a culture encouraged by David Miscavige himself. He treats his subordinates in, in all of international management like um, like slaves in a slave camp and literally and beats them down it's a claim the church vigorously denies church spokesman Tommy Davis says yes there was violence in the church but he blames Marty Rathbun for it as well as some others now making allegations against David Miscavige first of all the allegations are absolutely untrue there, there, there was nothing of the sort um, as they're describing um, by Mr. Miscavige. David and Miscavige has never form. kicked somebody. Absolutely Never not. punched somebody. Absolutely not. Never strangled somebody. No. Never, 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 never. Absolutely not. In a moment, we'll detail the fascinating claims, counterclaims, and turmoil surrounding the Church of Scientology. And that part of our series in just a moment, right after commercial break, let us know what you think. You can join the live chat at ac360.com. Also had some of the church leaders, including the main accuser's ex-wife, they say he's lying. Stay tuned. You can judge for yourself.